lacking everybody your boy bongo's back and today i have a very special video for you guys as you guys can see we are assembled in the kitchen which means we got a big dutty diy dropping on your head top really soon you guys are probably wondering what we're making in the kitchen today i have a collection of different ingredients some flour some baking soda some sugar but mainly a lot of white chocolate baby today we are switching up the vibe and we are making a diy giant subway Guys, take this subway, and you can't really keep up after the DIY. <laughs> literally, so, literally. Guys, today we are making none other than a DIY giant, giant subway, subway cookie. cookie. Eh? Subway makes bangers. Whoa, what kind of because you know they got, they got banger. What makes kind of cookie? Banger cookies. They make chocolate cookies, like chocolate chip, chocolate chunk, the M and M ones. But you got you got to get the white chocolate macadamia vibes. Wow. If you're not getting the white chocolate macadamia vibes. Congratulations, you my friends are. You played yourself. yourself. Because these ones are by far probably the best cookies. Maybe oatmeal raisin. Don't at me. Without any further ado, guys, let's not waste any more time. I need you guys to go down. Smash that like button and let's get into this DIY. Whoa. Whoa, 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 How many likes do they need on the video for you to come out with the next big Dutty DIY giant banger? Let's go with 27 likes. 20? So guys, smash 20, 27 likes. Like a quarter of what Ryan gets. <laughs> but 27 likes. Let's get 27 likes on the video and we'll do another DIY giant. giant. Blank. Here. Comment that down below as well. So the first step in this DIY giant subway cookie is obviously, guys, you got to get the right support team behind you, all right? Oh. Today we got none other than my man, homie, Chad with a J, behind the camera, Sue shuffling it up. You guys know that uh, every time he's here, something crazy goes down. Let's so go. today, it's about to be a banger. But the first step in this DIY cookie is to grab some butter. Now guys, in my big dutty DIY, I need two cups of butter, which means one big dutty brick like this. So I'm gonna take this guy and I've melted it down slightly because we do want it to be soft. We don't want that hard butter that comes out of the, uh, the fridge. So but you want the butter to be like you, Bongo? Soft. soft. And we're gonna chop it up here so that it's easier for us to mix. So boom, boom, boom. There's our whole thing of butter. The second ingredient in today's DIY cookie is some brown sugar. So guys, what we are looking for here is about a cup of brown sugar. Now obviously I went to Bog Barn and I got the sauce. So here we go, boom, one cup of brown sugar. And now Bongo, is this DIY easy to make at home uh, for the kids? DIY is so easy to make at home for the kids, for the youth at home. Just... Oh, bro, that looks like you're making the duttiest Ooh. sandcastle you've ever made in your life. Bro, brown sugar is a vibe. So guys, if you want to do this recipe at home, obviously you can take this recipe and chop it down in half. So what I'm doing, two cups of butter, you need one cup. I'm doing one cup of brown sugar, you need a half a cup. Anyway, you guys get the math. If you're good at math, divide everything by two and you can make a smaller cookie right at home. But here we go with one cup of brown sugar, boom, into our recipe it goes. And now guys, we need some granulated white sugar, right? So here we go, we got our white sugar and we need about two cups of this guy. So here, oh. boom. You need that white in every video. Here. All right, and that's about it there. I'm making a big dutty cookie. This is gonna be for you and all your mandos. So if you actually wanna make a big dutty cookie too, go ahead and make it and make sure you tweet me a picture of your creation. Now I wanna see how yours turns out versus mine. Cause I wanna see if there's some young bakers mans out there. <laughs> so guys, what we wanna do now is whisk this entire concoction together until we have a nice creamy substance. Now this might take a little bit of time because that, as you guys can see, our butter is still a little bit cold, but by whisking it like this, we should create enough friction so that the butter warms up and melts down. So give us a second and we'll be right back. Look at Bongo putting in work right now. Look at Bongo putting in the blood, sweat, and tears in it. work, no ASAP. This is what it takes to get to that consistency. You see what it was at before? You got a biz whisk it, G. Oh, look at that. It's gonna be like a nice big dough, but bro, look at the, look at the sweat. Here! Alright, so there we go, folks. As you guys can see, we have a nice consistency, some nice buttery slash brown sugar slash white sugar vibe. It is no longer clumpy. We have a nice mix over here. So our next step, guys, what we want to now do is add four eggs 
to the mix, all right? Ooh. Now you guys want the entire egg, not just the egg white or the egg yolk. You want to add the entire egg. So boom, there's one. Oh. Oh, this one's actually a... The I've top never seen split? an egg split like that in my life. Yeah, that's some dino eggs, yeah. Ball goes on that next level yeah, baker's yeah. man. I didn't even want that to happen, but here When you go. break an egg with another egg, you know you're on another one, bro. Why, you've never broken eggs with other eggs? Nah, bro. What? I thought that's how eggs are meant to be broken. Now let's see if I can baker man one hand up. Here. Ooh. All right, so there's four eggs into our concoction. What we also want to add is about two teaspoons of vanilla extract. This should good. <laughs> Guys, as you can see, <laughs> Chef Gordon Ramsay is with us here today. Absolute shit. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> All right, so we will grab some teaspoons and guys just simply add two of these guys. Now there is a little bit of vanilla in the white chocolate as well, so we don't want to add too, too, too much. But two teaspoons just like that. Put this on the side, close this up. And what we want to do, guys, is slowly but surely whisk these guys in. Oh, so that's your wet mix. There we go. So whisk this guy up until you have a nice consistency like you guys are seeing below and make sure all the ingredients are mixed together very, very well. Here. What we now wanna do is add some flour to the mixture. So here's our big duck tea bag of flour. And guys, what we want is about five cups of flour here. So this is gonna be a big duck Ooh. tea one here. Now I know this fits four cups. So that should be around four cups on the money here. And we need one more cup of this guy. Ooh, that one is. cup, boom. And guys, what we wanna do is also add two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, here, and one teaspoon of regular ass salt. So here we go, boom. Oh, David's aged at this part. Oh, boom. Now guys, what we wanna do, and start to mix this together. Oh, this is a big, this is a major key mix. We are moving away from the biz whisk. The biz whisk duty is now done. Oh. We are moving on to bigger and better things, folks. And here we have a kind of functional, kind of unfunctional spatula to start mixing in all of our dry and wet ingredients. This is a major mix. This is a major. Take major your time mix. on this mix, no? That's it, exactly. You guys want to be very careful with this mix. Make sure you are evenly distributing all the vibes like, with the other that, vibes. Bro. Takes a minute, but with time, with hard work, with and dedication, dedication, and organization, and efficiency, and efficiency, and a sore throat, and a sore throat, and maybe some Vicks and Robitussin, and some Adolino Robitussin. Yeah, you mean a Travis Scott album? The big Astro World vibes. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. With the power of editing. <laughs> You could give him a one. I need a here. Give me a loud here. Here! We've mixed in all the flour and all the other fun stuff into this big dough. And as you guys can see, we have a nice big dutty dough, all right? Now, what we want to do next, guys, is add some macadamia nut vibes to this macadamia nut vibes cookie, all right? So here we go. Now, what we want to do is we're actually just gonna add how about half this bag of macadamia, boom, 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 just like so. We actually got a lot of macadamia, so we're trying to make the best use out of all of them. So what we want to do, guys, is just fold in the macadamia vibes, like so. You see the big duck vibes. Once you have mixed in your macadamia nut vibes into your macadamia nut cookie vibes, what you then want to do is add your white chocolate. But since this is a giant cookie, I've opted to go with the big dutty white chocolate chunks, okay? So here, here, as you guys Ooh. can see, I want my white chocolate to shine. Let the chocolate shine on you. <laughs> so boom, we got the chocolate vibes. What we wanna do is now mix that chocolate vibes in to the big cookie Ooh. ensemble. Here, here, here. And we're also gonna top our cookie with some of these white chocolate chip vibes and some of these macadamia vibes. All right guys, once we have mixed up all our vibes in our big bowl, what we now wanna do is move on to our baking tray. Now guys, we got our parchment paper, we got our baking tray, all right? So what we wanna do is open this guy up. Ooh. All right. Grab some parchment paper. Essentially what we want to do is line up our tray with the parchment paper so that our cookie doesn't stick. So we're just going to cut the edges like so. We have lined up our tray with some parchment paper. Now what we want to do is take our big giant dutty cookie dough concoction. 
like so. Now you see those white chocolate chunks, they're coming through. Roll this guy up into a big circle like so because a cookie does stretch out when it does big guys. So what we want to do is actually grab all the dough, <laughs> make a big kind of cookie dough ball vibe. Here, you see me working in the kitchen folks. Boom, so. We have our little cookie vibe. We're gonna slap this guy up like so. Now this is gonna extend to be this big giant cookie, all right? But in the start, we're just gonna make it a nice small ball. And like I was saying guys, we're gonna top it with some nice white chocolate vibes. You see the vibes coming in through the cookie, boom. And we're gonna top it with some extra macadamia vibes. Boom, boom. You see the white chocolate, you see the macadamia vibes. Okay, oh now God, all the vibes so are coming together. Once we have all our vibes combined, pack it all up, and into the oven it goes at 350. Now guys, regular cookies would probably take 10 minutes, but this big dutty cookie is gonna take a little bit longer. So we're gonna throw that guy in there for 20 minutes, then we are gonna check up on our DIY giant Subway cookie. Here. Later. All right, so we have left the cookie in the oven for a little bit longer than we expected. At first, I thought it would be 15 minutes, but I actually ended up leaving it in there for 25 minutes because it was a big dutty cookie. And guys, I just took a look at it, and I am about to take out this cookie. Oh my. Here we go. Take in the vibes. Holy so shit. So now we are just gonna leave this cookie here to cool because we want it to have a nice cookie consistency. But we are gonna leave the cookie to cool down, and then it is our favorite time of the video, the taste test time. Here. Alrighty guys, so we have left our DIY giant Subway cookie here. to cool down. I actually put it in the fridge for a little bit to expedite the process a little bit. But finally, we have the banger of all bangers, the DIY giant, giant Subway, Subway cookie. cookie. Take it all in. Oh my. Guys, okay, show it your head. You guys see the vibes, okay? Size, my head, the cookie. Here, I'll hold this one. The regular. This is the regular, we got a regular cookie. Just to always show it, oh my God. All right, so here we go, folks. This is the moment of truth. Will it come out of the pan like a cookie? I'm not I'm not 100% sure, but here we go. We're gonna test it out right now. Bro, please. Oh, oh it's firm. Oh, oh my God. Oh. No friggin' way. October firm. Stop. Firmer. Oh, no, no. Stop. Stop. Bro, stop, bro, bro. stop, 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 stop. Jada, I have a secret. What? I bought this one. No! I didn't make it. I knew it! I didn't actually make it. I knew I'm it. psyched! What do you think this is? Oh, Joe no. Brock telling you every man's on YouTube wants to catch the smoke. Look at this Bro, perfect. it looks like a pizza or something. This is perfect, bro. Perfect consistency. It's mm. still a little bit... Oh. Crunchy. Oh. oh. Should we... Should we try it? Bro, Should yes. Should we try it? I'm gonna try to break it. Oh, it's no, 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 stop, 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 stop. You gotta take a bite, a bite? of that giant of cookie. Of the giant cookie? That is, your, right. that is your baby, you need Here to be the first go, to folks. do it. <sighs> Smash that like button. Mmm, mm. that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's a crunchy, beautiful cookie. And mm. it's only gonna get softer towards the middle. Bro. We need to make it to the soft, beautiful ridge. Look at your face. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> This is a dumb vibe. Oh no, no, I need to try Bro, it. This is a dumb vibe. <laughs> it looks so funny you eating a big ass giant cookie. Bro, oh. Bro you, the level, the volume those finger snaps made, that's how you know it's good. Mm. Bro, this is actually a vibe. Does DJ love cookies? And DJ know, would finish it. If I give him a nice slice like this, He'll dust it, bro. I gotta try, I'm trying, I'm trying. It's I'm trying, all trying, yours, trying. bro, it's all yours. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Okay. All right! I don't wanna like, I need to be careful with this thing. Bro, just just break off a little piece on the other side. No, I wanna take a big giant dutty bite. Jad's got it. You got it. Bro, it actually looks hilarious. Oh, there's Jad's first bite. Mm. Mm. Be honest. Mm. It's soft and country. Right? Mmm, it smells so good. Mmm. Look how big it is compared mm. to Jad. That's insane. Mm. It tastes way more gourmet than a Subway cookie. You're right? Yeah, yeah, it tastes really good, bro. It's gourmet. It's surprisingly good. 
This will be the best bite of the cookie so far. A hundred percent. Mmm. Oh, talk to me, bro. Talk to me, bro. Talk mm. to me. Talk to me. Mm. No. He can't even speak. I'm speechless. I'm aged. Holy That's smokes. I am aged. I am dumb aged. You wouldn't think taking a bite of a full nut would be okay, but because of the cookie, it actually goes to proportion. Mm -hmm. Like nothing feels big or small. No. It just feels like it all fits perfectly together. That is a banger. Another one. There was, guys, another DIY giant, giant Subway cookie. cookie. Yeah, white macadamia nut, yeah. I was gonna say another DIY giant creation, but you know, with the flow of the video, you might as well throw in the DIY <laughs> giant Subway cookie, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please go down, smash, smash the down. like button. Big thank you to the big homie behind the camera today, Chow with a J. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. Guys, I'm trying to hit a million subscribers. Amazing. Help me get right, their yeah, road to a million. Let's cut the, let's cut the BS over here, Jack. <laughs> Jack's hitting two million Oh. So if Let's you guys go. Help Jad get to two million subscribers. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. It'll be right down here in the description. Yep. Leave a comment of any future DIY that you guys would like to see on this channel. And hey, your idea might just make it. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And till next time, take, take it easy. easy. It's, it's Bungie.